Hey everybody, this is Crystal with Pure Photoshop Actions and I'm going to show you an edit on a picture. Um, there's going to be a few things that I show you. Um, you know, like how to make the background not as obvious, how to kind of blend it in, um, how to warm up the picture and, and stuff like that. So, um, okay, so first I shoot raw so um, and I choose to edit my pictures in ACR. Um, and so first thing I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll make sure that it's in camera neutral. Um, it likes to divert and um, it likes to by default go to can Adobe Standard, but I like it in neutral. Um, and then I'll come over here and I'll lower my, you'll see that the contrast um, automatically um, defaults to plus 25. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to lower that to about 1 or 0. Um, and lower the clarity to probably about f positive 15. Um, and she's a little blue, um, so I'm going to up the temperature just a smidge. Um, and that looks good to start. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my adjustment brush right here. I'm going to make sure my contrast is right around there, my clarity is right around there. And I'm going to come and I'm going to rub it on the background. And you'll see what it's doing. I don't know if this is technically the correct way to do it, but. I, this is what I've found works for me um, and I love it um, just because I like soft pictures not soft as in like out of focus but just very neutral tones and um, soft the focus is, is on you know this cutie pie right here so um, okay so we'll br brush that on and then we'll go ahead and open the image into Photoshop and so um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to run from um, Pure Photoshop Action Set 1 um, Soft and Sparkly Baby, which is a soft softening skin and eye pop action. Um, and it's gentle. It's not super, super strong. Um, the skin softening, you know, you it's, it's all for taste. So, um, you know, you can run it a couple times if you need to or 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 you know run at 100% if you need to. Okay, so the eye pop. Make sure you have the black mask selected. White brush. Um, and I always use uh, this 300 brush. I always use a soft brush. Um, and we'll come and brush it in. And that was before, and that's after. And then we'll choose the soft skin, and then brush that on. And of course, like I said, it's all you know, um, user specific to taste. So then I'll lower the opacity to probably about 44, 45 percent. Just softens it just a tad. Okay. And now what we'll do is, from our new set that we do, I'm gonna run this Cloud Nine action, and it's gonna add some warming, and you can decrease the opacity on that if it's too warm. Um, and also. Um, then I'm gonna I'm gonna paint on the softness to the background. So this was the warming that it did, and it actually looks pretty good. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is select the white mask right there, black brush, and I'm gonna brush it off of um, the rug here. Let's see. And no, I'll leave it on the background. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think I want a little bit of warming on the rug, not too much. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then brush out 100%, white brush, black mask on the cuddly soft layer. And then we're going to come in and we're going to brush on the cuddly, cuddly soft layer. Now, once you get closer to the subject, um, be a little bit more careful. Um, because it is a softening. You'll see what that does right there. Um, and so I always go right ar right on the edge just, you know, to add just a little bit of softness. Let's see. Okay. And then all down here. I just 
go like basically where the bokeh is, that's about where I will apply that. So that's before, before, after. You can lower the opacity if you want. Um, shift control E to merge the visible layers and then there's this optional soft tone that is included on that um, action but it's not selected so you have to manually turn it on. Um, and some pictures it works really good, some pictures it doesn't look very well so that's why we left it unselected. Um, and I really like that actually right there, probably around 25%. Okay. And then we're going to go uh, control J and control T to tr free transform it because it's a little crooked. Okay. And then we'll rotate it and bring it down just a smidge. Okay. Enter to accept the free transform. And then shift control E to merge the layers. Now I'm going to go ahead and control J to duplicate the layers again. Come over and select my brush. And then I'm going to hit the Alt key and select a color right there. Then I'm going to lower the opacity to about 75%. And make the brush a little bit bigger. I'm going to brush on right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the opacity to about 50%. Make my brush a little bit smaller. Actually, I need a little bit bigger. Okay. And then go right below that. Okay. Then I'm going to lower the opacity to about 34% and go right below that. Okay. And then what we'll do is now there's this line here. I mean, into some it doesn't bother them at all. So. Um, but we'll go ahead and, and lower the opacity to about 25% and we'll start to brush on right onto that rug right there, right where the rug meets the wall. Because this was just my family room wall, like it wasn't a backdrop, it wasn't anything, it was just the bat, um, the uh, wall in my family room. So, um, and then I just put this little rug up, against, well it's not little, but this rug up against the wall. Um, Okay, and then if you want, you know, to be a little bit more um, hiding with your uh, line, raise the opacity right there and go right over where that line is and the wall meets. Um, and then again, lower the opacity and then come down, just so it all blends. You don't want to do something super strong all the way because then it doesn't blend and it doesn't look right. Okay, so now you have your before and your after. Now I will come in, and if I got any on her, which I did right here, I'm going to go ahead and apply a mask, brush, make sure it's black, make sure it's at 100% because you were just at 9 or lower, and then just brush back in her head or wherever it was that you happened to paint on to. Okay, let's do this. And I think that that right there, I think we pretty much got it. Her ear. Okay, so now let's look at that. So there's um, the after, before, after. Okay, so shift control E if you like that. And then um, come over and take a snapshot, which will be right here in your history panel, camera. And so then you can see your befores and afters. So that is how you um, basically paint the background a little bit. And you'll notice there's a little bit, it looks like a little halo right here. So you can come in and um, fix that. Um, just like this. Oh, and I would actually be a little bit, I mean, be a little bit more careful, obviously. Um, and then if you want to feather it, shift F6. Choose your feather radius. Get the paintbrush. Uh, lower the opacity to probably about 18%. And then just brush on where you saw that halo. Um, 
and so take another snapshot just to see and there you go it's pretty it's a lot better and then you can do the same over here let's go down here okay shift f6 paintbrush and just brush on that so there's not a halo and take a snapshot again so basically this was where we started and that's where we ended and it pretty much got rid of that little halo right there and you can you know make it stronger do whatever it is that you want to do so that is how you do that